Hello everyone, this is John back with another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing two things if you saw my unboxing video. Um, that kind of are a little matchy matchy. And then I'm also going to do a bonus content on this review where I guess a mystery flavor of a beverage. But getting to the first part of this review, if you saw my unboxing, you'll know that I've acquired these two items cup noodle chips and the matching cup noodle cup noodle this is spicy seafood flavor you can see both of them are the same blue color they have the same picture of ramen on both of these um, looking through the ingredients, they're pretty much identical in uh, ingredients. Um, they both have kimchi powder. Um, this one has dehydrated cuttlefish slices, which I'll show you. And this has cuttlefish flavor powder. Um, they both have uh, different other seafood flavors. This one also has squid powder, anchovy flavor. Um, and the spicy part is paprika and chili flavor, and it also has a soy sauce powder in as well, where this one also has soy sauce, um, it has bonito, sardine, salt, and chili, um, also cuttlefish, clam, shrimp, and crab. So, they both have some similar some different seafood flavors and they both have chili and all that stuff and the interesting thing about this is you see like at the top it has not english but then everything in the back is english the ingredients the nutritional facts the instructions and in fact this does say u.s west coast distributor chevalier international in San Francisco um, and East Coast is a different distributor Starway International in New York but the factory that made this was in Hong Kong it says right there in that little yellow strip so this was made in Hong Kong but the container um, because it has all the English um, words on it this container was specifically made to be shipped distributed to the United States and be sold in the United States the bag of chips, however, you see, it does say English words here, but that is a sticker on there. Um, it does say Nissan Koyeki series on top there, but it does have other words. But on the back, you'll see right here, English and non-English. That warning is a sticker the nutritional facts ingredients that is a sticker so these were not specifically made to come to the united states but then i don't know if, like they decided later or because they specifically had a deal with the uh the company that bought this from um to produce stickers and put them on previously made packaging. Um, this does say product of China, Hong Kong. Um, and there's no US distributor named on here. So I think this was just made in China for use in China, Hong Kong. But uh, secondarily added stickers for resale. And the warning is um, one of the communist California warnings where it says consuming this product can give you cancer because the state of California knows more than you do. Anyway, let's go ahead and try these, see if they taste like each other. Let me go ahead and open this all the way. This lid was actually very difficult to take off. Just even to open it slightly, I had to get a knife underneath the wrapper. See that it's still left almost a complete ring of the wrapper still on there um, it was like a foily type of thing 
and the chip bag being from another country, I'm going to attempt to pull it this way. If not, I'll pull it sideways. But it's not working. Plus, if you didn't know, this arm is still not working all the way. So we'll open it that way. There we go. Look how empty that bag is. There's barely any chips in there. Alright, so... Let's mix this up. I don't know the last time I had cup noodles ramen. Yeah, noodles seem to have soaked up a lot of the broth. Let me get a little taste of it. So it should taste spicy and like seafood. The spice was just like a second delayed. It's like really savory and salty. And then it hits you with spice. I'm interested in tasting this cuttlefish that's in here. It's just like a a slice. A really thin slice. Dehydrated cuttlefish. Mmm. -mm. Wow. Really has like a a clam like flavor to it. But it's got a lot of uh, chew to it. Alright, let's take a big bite of some noodles here. It is hot. The temperature on this is hot. As well as it being spicy. So when you get like the bites of the cuttlefish in there, you do taste a lot of seafood flavor. But um, just like the broth itself, mixed with the noodles, all I'm really getting is a soy, like a savory soy, and like savory soy, salt, and spice. Not like a ton of seafood flavor unless I get a bite of that cuttlefish in there, which really has a, a really good clam-like flavor to it. So I got a good idea of what that tastes like. Let's see if the the chips taste like similar. It's a slight orangey yellow color to it. It is a ridged chip. I right, have a nice bite, nice crunch. consistency of this like if you if you look at it it just looks like a regular like ruffles ridges kind of chip but when you bite into it it almost tastes like a puffed potato it's very airy and crisp There's some spice to it. It's not as spicy as the noodle broth. 
There's actually a little bit of... It's not, a, it's not like sweet, sweet. There's a little bit of like a sweet touch to it. If you wouldn't have said seafood, I don't think you would pick up seafood flavor in this. But since I know it, I'm kind of like trying to feel it for it. And I'm getting like seafood notes, I will say. I'm going to take a few of these chips, put it right on top of my cup noodle. Get a little crunch. Get a little moist into the broth there. Put a bite of noodles and chips together. say the flavor match of, the, of these two aren't the greatest of similar or identically flavored things that I've had before. The spice of the chips is way lower than the spice in the broth here. And neither of them has a very strong seafood flavor unless you get a bite of that uh, cuttlefish in the cup noodles. Neither of them are bad. I like the way they taste. Um, it's a salty, savory soy sauce base. And uh, the noodles uh, have a decent spice kick to them. Nothing that's going to blow you away. Um, but I don't think they taste similar enough to each other to make them so identical in look. But uh, moving on to the bonus content of this review. I'm adding these together because they came in the same box from Exotic uh, Drinks or Desert Desert Drinks and Exotics. I think it's a Desert Drinks and Exotics. This is Fanta. What the Fanta? Sun Sucres. Um, and this is from France. And this is supposed to be a mystery flavor of Fanta. It does have like an orange logo behind the Fanta. I'm not sure if that's just a general Fanta logo or some clue as to what's in here. The can is green. That might be a hint as well. Let's see what color it is. Okay. It does have a, a certain fruit smell to it. It is a green color, just like the game. Actually, almost identical to the game. Um, it's almost like apple-y smell. I want to say. Let's see what taste. It's one of two things. Or maybe it's a combination of both. And uh, I, I will say that I'm going by smell, taste, and color here. And the first thing you see is color, so you already start having ideas in your mind what it might be. But then when I smelled it, I almost smelled green apple smell. But like it's not... We all know what like a green apple Jolly Rancher smells and tastes like. It's not that intense. Which kind of gets me to second guess. My other idea was it's some type of melon. Like a honey. 
honey dew melon. But it's from Europe, from France. I'm gonna have to go with my first instinct here. I'm gonna say it's apple. Um, it's not like an intense green apple like gray apple candies here in the United States. But maybe in France they have a different uh, palette when it comes to what a green apple should taste like. It does have a very reminiscent flavor and smell and color of a green apple. So that's going to be my guess. What the Fanta? Green apple. Alright, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will shortly be continuing with more items that you saw from that opening of the boxes. See you later, guys.